What is going on outdoorsmen? Greg here and today we're talking all about how to shoot from a saddle. I get questions about this all the time. Hey, how can I shoot 360 degrees around the tree? Everyone's saying the tree saddle offers so many benefits about shooting here and there and there's no dead spots. How does that really work? Well, lucky for you, I am here to show you exactly how to do it how to move your feet, how to position your body, where to put your bow, all of those things we're gonna talk about and how you can be a better shot from your saddle. First of all, let's talk about the difference in setup between a traditional tree stand and a saddle. Let's say there is a bedding area and a funnel that you're hunting and with the tree in the certain location where you need it to be, with a tree stand, traditional tree stand, you'd have to set up in front of the tree in order to shoot to that funnel or that pinch point where you expected the deer to come. However, on a saddle, you would set up on the back side of the tree. That way you could keep the tree in between you and the direction that you expected the deer to be coming from. This is great for stealth and for camouflage and lots of different reasons. That's one of the advantages. However, what that does is cause people to say, Hey, well, how can I shoot if this big tree is in between me and the deer? The only real dead spot you have in a tree stand is directly behind you. So that would be to your six o'clock. It's very difficult from a traditional tree stand to shoot to your six o'clock. It can be done, I guess, if you were really dexterous and you could lean way out and, and do it, but most people can't shoot directly behind the tree stand. However, what we're gonna focus on today are the four different shots you have with the saddle and how to execute each and every one of them. First one is the strong side shot, the second is the weak side shot, the third one is the top shot, and the fourth one is the drop shot. One of the things that affects how you shoot those particular shots is the diameter of the tree and the type of platform you're using. If you're using a ring style platform, you would move your feet in a certain way to execute those shots. On the other hand, a pivot style platform, which is more like a traditional tree stand setup, you simply just pivot your feet as opposed to walking around your ring of steps. Now I'm gonna talk about all of these shots from the perspective of a right-handed shooter because Almost everyone is a right-handed shooter, so for you lefties, I'm sorry, I love you, but you're weird. So first of all, the strong side shot. This is the easiest shot in the saddle to execute. The strong side is from 10 o'clock to about seven o'clock. The way you execute this shot is very simple. You hardly even have to move. You just pick up your bow, draw it, lean to the left, and execute the shot very little movement in this shot. Very similar to how you could shoot this shot with a tree stand. You don't have to move very much. You can even execute the shot sitting down for most people. Second shot we're gonna talk about is the weak side shot. This is the hardest shot to execute in a saddle. So the strong side is the easiest and the weak side is the hardest. The weak side shot in reference to a clock would be roughly from two o'clock to four o'clock. Now with the strong side shot, it doesn't really matter if you're on a ring style or a pivot style platform. They're both done the same exact way. Now in my opinion, this is where a pivot style platform really shines, is the weak side shot. You spin your body counterclockwise away from the tree, you pivot your feet counterclockwise or to the left until you are facing away from the tree and you make the shot. With a ring style platform, it's not any more difficult really. I just think you have to move your feet a little bit more dramatically to make the shot. This is where you would walk around the tree counterclockwise, pivot your body to the left, and then you're gonna make the shot. The weak side shot is one that you're gonna really wanna practice. I recommend whenever you transition to a saddle that you set up at the ground level and go through these types of shots, all four of them. And I did a whole video on what to do as a beginner in the saddle, and I'll link to that in the description below. Now the shot is not difficult to execute at all once you've done it once or twice. You just climbed up a tree you had never practiced before. You might think, oh, how the heck am I gonna shoot over here to my right or to my weak side? Just practice a little bit in your backyard or at the range, it's really, really easy. You simply pivot your feet on a pivot style platform or you just simply walk around the tree counterclockwise on a ring style platform. Third is the top shot. That covers about two o'clock until about 10 o'clock. That's everything in front of the tree. This is a really easy shot to execute with the saddle. 
All you really do is move your body to the left. I like to pick up my left knee and place it on the tree for support. It provides a super steady base for shooting. And then I just basically lean out and make the shot. I can shoot anywhere from 10 o'clock to two o'clock very easily with the top shot. This shot is also very easy to execute on a ring style platform. You would simply move one or two rings around the tree and execute the shot from 10 to two. Now the fourth shot, the drop shot. This is the one that a tree stander is gonna have a real problem with. This would be shooting directly behind you, so you're six o'clock. Uh, the tree would be at your back in a tree stand, so directly to your six o'clock and shooting directly behind it can be very difficult in a tree stand. This is very easy with a saddle. On a pivot style platform, you just pivot your feet counterclockwise until you are facing away from the tree, you draw the bow, execute the shot. On a ring style platform, you do it exactly the same way. You may have to shift your feet one or two steps to the right, but essentially you can just turn away from the tree in your saddle, let the saddle hold all of your weight, and you execute the shot. This is why it's important to practice. You're going to be leaning into your saddle. That's gonna create a very steady base for you to shoot from. However, you have to learn to trust your gear. And the time to learn to trust your gear is not when you're 25 feet up and the big deer is standing there. You have to do that before the season. As you can see, shooting from a saddle is not difficult at all. You can absolutely shoot 360 degrees around the tree. With the strong side, the weak side, the top shot and the drop shot, they're all very easy to learn. You just have to spend about five minutes practicing in your backyard and you will, you will instantly know how to do all four of those shots. And really the only one that isn't super intuitive is the weak side shot. But once you learn how to move around the tree, if you're on a ring style platform or you figure out how to pivot your feet, if you're on a pivot style platform, it's really easy. Finally, some people are using a hybrid style platform. I use this a lot and Basically, that's either some sort of wild edge step or uh, I the way I use a hybrid style platform is I'll use the top of my climbing stick as the base of my platform and then place a couple of Ameristep strap-on steps to the left and to the right to make a little ad hoc uh, uh, ring style platform. It's not a true ring style platform, but it's kind of an in-between. And that's why I like to call it a hybrid style platform. You can execute all four shots, the strong side, the weak side, the top shot, and the drop shot, all with this hybrid style platform. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you understand how easy it is to actually shoot from a saddle. What you're gonna find when you trust your saddle and you lean into it, you put all of your weight into that saddle and you're so comfortable, you're gonna find that it builds an incredibly solid base for taking your shot. Even more solid than a tree stand, in my opinion. Set up in your backyard, learn these shots, and you will be a better archer from your saddle. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out some of my hunting and fishing videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, make sure you guys get outdoors.